I am excited to welcome you to another wonderful moment to learn writing tips. My name is Joseph Jacob. Today we are looking at the punctuation mark dash. Dash is used to indicate an abrupt break in thought. Let's look at these examples. The manager is always sad. The speaker now had an abrupt break in thought. That is why you now see the dash. That's his business. Dash again because he has now returned to his initial thoughts. He's always bullying his workers. Another example, almost all the policemen, how many are they precisely? He breaks in his former thoughts to say 35 to be precise. We are armed with automatic rifles. The second use of dash is that it is used in place of a parenthesis. For example, the country is blessed with abundant talents of long distance runners. You'll notice that the country being referred to is Kenya, and Kenya is placed inside a parenthesis. Most times, when words are placed inside a parenthesis, it is jumped when reading. But if you use dash in place of the parenthesis, most times the word is pronounced. Now let's look at another version of this example. The country, Kenya, is blessed with abundant talents of long distance runners. Because this second example, per, a dash, is used instead of parentheses, Kenya is mentioned while the sentence is being read. The third use of dash is that it is used to mean namely, in other words, that is, and other similar expressions that precede explanations. When used in this way, I know you will agree with me that the dash functions as the colon. Let's look at some examples. He chose to remain at the club and earn lower wages. Dash, his family don't want to leave the city. The second part of that sentence is explaining why the player chose to remain at the club even though his wages were reduced. Another example is Robert Lewandowski scored a hat-trick, dash, three goals. If you are not familiar with football, you might not know what hat-trick is. But the dash is now used to explain what the hat trick means. Three goals. Thanks for watching this video. Our next video will focus on parentheses. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.